Respected ulama kiram elders, beloved brothers in Islam, it is the very manifest and great mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, kindness, benevolence, that we have reached the brink or the cusp of Sayyidu Shuhur, Shahru Sabr, Shahru Rahma, Shahru Tawbah, Shahru Al Ghufran, Shahru Al Ihsan, Shahru Al Dua, Shahru Al Quran. The list goes on. We cannot count the manifest virtues, status, honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed on the blessed month of Ramadan. Many of us, our minds are attuned to commercial thinking or we have a psyche that leans towards an understanding of financial markets and the worldly economy. Understand it like this, a season has come. You don't have to mentally prepare a shopkeeper or a businessman when December is dawning. Long in advance, he's already started the preparation. If you could help it, he'll sleep in his shop also. Forget about his family. Forget about his meals also. If he has to stay open 24 hours, he'll stay open 24 hours. What is behind it? Maximum. He wants the maximum. Doesn't want to lose one second. Why? He understands the season has come. I've got, like we say in Urdu, lotne ke zamana hai. Time to maximize the potential. Waiting the whole year for this. In a shari'i and a dini sense, understand this has happened. Ramadan is the season. This opportunity for the next 11 months we are not going to get. Many of us, unfortunately, what was our mindset and our preparation for Ramadan? On the one hand, mashallah, the home industry, samosas, pies, savories, that was skyrocketing. The freezers were being filled to the brim. The wealthy classes, last minute holidays, last minute visits to exotic destinations. You phone a friend up by where you are, somebody is in Maldives, somebody is somewhere else, somebody is somewhere else. What is behind it? Ramadan is coming. We've made it into a joke. It's a sad reality, unfortunately. What was the preparation that Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made? Rajab would start, Allahumma barik lana fi Rajab wa Shaban, wa balighna Ramadan. Oh Allah, bless us in Rajab and Shaban, wa balighna Ramadan, and cause us to remain alive to experience Ramadan. When Shaban would come, this was the one month, tarikh, history records, that the moon of Shaban, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself would go out to look for that moon in anticipation of Ramadan. And if that moon was sighted, how would he make istiqbal of the coming of Shaban? My Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would fast in preparation for Ramadan. In Shaban, he would start making this dua, Allahumma sallimna li Ramadan, wa sallim Ramadan alana. O oh Allah, give us salamati, give us peace, give us security, li Ramadan, for Ramadan. Make Ramadan salamati for us. وَتَسَلَّمْهُ مِنْهَا مُتَقَبَّلَا And Ya Allah, accept the Ramadan from us. This was the type of preparation. This was the type of anticipation. This was the imani zeal and fervor demonstrated for us by the greatest of humanity, our role model, our example, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Greater than that, what was the istiqbal that Allah put into place? What was the istiqbal that Allah who is ghani, Ya ayyuhal nas, antumul fuqara'u ilallah, wallahu huwa al-ghaniyul hamid. O people, all of you are faqeer, are beggars before Allah. 
Allahu huwa al-ghaniyyu al-hamid. Allah is not in need of you or me or any of us. Allah is ghani, He is independent, yet Allah throws open the doors of His mercy in this month. Allah gives us multitude opportunities in this month. Every night, Allah is calling out, هَلْ مِنْ تَائِبٍ فَأَتُوبَ إِلَيْهِ هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَغْفِرَ لَهِ هَلْ مِنْ سَائِلٍ فَأَعْتِهُ سُؤْلَى Is there anyone that wants forgiveness? Allah says, Allah says, Is there anyone that, that wants forgiveness? I am ready to forgive you now. Anyone has a need, I am ready to grant it. Anyone in me wants to make some dua, I am ready to answer your dua. Rasulullah Wasallam said, Every day, every night of Ramadan, da'watum mustajaba. There is one moment that whatever dua you will make, Allah will accept it. What is the istiqbal Allah puts into place? At the time of iftar, at the time of iftar, at the time of iftar of every roza, one million souls, قَدْ إِسْتَوْجَبَ لَهُمُ nar comes in the hadith, that whose jahannam had become wajib, Allah frees them from jahannam, every iftar of Ramadan. On the last night of Ramadan, as many as were freed the entire month are freed on that night. What is the fervor, anticipation, what is the preparation put into place before Ramadan? In al jannata la tuzayyanu min al-sanati ila sanati li dukhuli shahri Ramadan. Allah commands, la tuzayyan, la tubakhar. These words come in the riwayat. That jannat is perfumed, jannat is decorated. The preparation of Jannat starts for this year's Ramadan. When? 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 When the hilal of last year's shawwal was cited. From that time, Allah commands that Jannat must be decorated for this year's Ramadan. When Ramadan finally comes, Habbat reekhum min tahtil arsh, yuqalu laha al-muthira, fatusaffiqu waraqu ashjar al-jinan, a wind starts blowing from underneath the arsh of Allah. The name of this wind is Muthira. As a result of this wind, there is fervor, there is excitement, there is anticipation. فَتُصَفِّقُ وَرَقُ أَشْجَارِ الْهِنَاءَ The leaves of the trees of Jannat start flapping in this breeze. حِلَقُ الْمَصَارِيعَ The door handles of the palaces of Jannat start clattering. There is an excitement, a fervor, as a result of which Jannat realizes something is happening. And what happens? وَيَقُلْنَ الْجَنَّةِ Jannat starts making dua. Jannat starts making dua to Allah. Allahumma ja'allana fi hadha shahar min ibadika sukkana. Oh Allah, oh Allah, oh Allah. Inspire, inspire, inspire your slaves from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam that they treat this month in such a manner that you make the decision that they have become the residents of Jannah. وَيَقُلْنَ الْحُورُ الْأَيْنِ Women, maidens whose beauty is such that the Qur'an does not get tired of describing them. وَحُورُ نَعِينَ كَأَمْثَالِ اللُّؤْلُؤِ الْمَكْنُونَ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ كَأَنَّهُنَّ الْيَاقُوتُ وَالْمَرْجَانِ فِيهِنَّ قَاصِرَاتُ الطَّرْفِ لَمْ يَتْمِثْهُنَّ إِنْسٌ قَبْلَهُمْ وَلَا جَانْ الله أكبر كواعب أترابا عربا أترابا Mutahab Allahu Akbar. Such description, there's no time to go into the detail. Allah describes these maidens, mind-boggling beauty Allah has given them. In the tafsir of these descriptions, just to scratch the surface, Mufassirin have written, Mutahabibat, Mutaashiqat. Translate this in layman's terms. Women that have a PhD in providing love, in providing ecstasy, in providing excitement, in providing enjoyment. Women of such beauty, they start making dua when this wind blows. Allahumma ja'allana fi hadha shahar min ibadika azwaja. Allah, inspire the men of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam to treat this month in such a manner that you will perform wazawajnahum bihurin'in. Allah will marry them with the maidens of Jannah. The women of dunya, 
the women of dunya that, that, will, that will receive jannat, their beauty will be 70,000 times more than the beauty of these women of jannah. Such intizam, such preparation Allah puts into place for this month, where is our appreciation? Our master, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, did not want his ummah to miss one second of this month. In fact, the hadith, لَوْ يَعْلَمُ الْعِبَادِ مَا فِي رَمَضَانِ لَتَمَنَّتْ أُمَّتِي أَن تَكُونَ السَّنَةُ كُلَّهَا رَمَضَانِ He would say, if only my ummah, if only my ummah knew what this month was, what it, en- what it entails, what it contains, what an opportunity it is. He said, Allahu Akbar sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, he said, my ummah will wish that the whole year was Ramadan. They would wish that their whole lives on this earth was Ramadan, if they knew what this month entails. When Ramadan would come, Allahu Akbar, Salman Farsi, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the famous hadith, Khatabana Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, fi akhir yawmin min Shaban, the last night of Shaban, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would address his ummah, Ya ayyuhan nas, qad adhallakum, shahrun, azimun, mubarakun, shahrun fihi laylatun, khayrun min alf shahr, shahrun, ja'alallahu siyamahu faridatan, wa qiyam, there's no time to go into translation. Okay, when your occasion of Jummah is too limited, yet just the, just basic translation O oh my ummah O oh humanity Qad adhallakum shahrun azim A great month has come A month of barakat A month of blessing A month which contains one night Which is better than 1000 months in ibadat A month in which you will do one nafil Allah will reward you as a farz You will do one farz Allah will multiply it 70 times for you He said this is the month of patience This is the month of mutual sympathy This is a month Allah has given you opportunity upon opportunity upon opportunity he said give the fasting person something to eat at the time of iftar Allah will forgive all your sins Allah will emancipate you from Jannah from Jahannam when Sahaba heard this Laysa kulluna yajiduma yufattiru sa'im Ya Rasulullah we are poor their condition was such the Ashabu Sufa had one cloth to cover their bodies if they stood up their satar would be exposed sometimes they would cling to the ground this was their condition of poverty so they said Ya Rasulullah you you are saying to us, Allah will forgive our sins. Allah will free us from Jahannam. If we feed the fasting person at the time of iftar, we don't have anything for ourselves. How are we going to feed anyone else? Allahu Akbar. He opened. Look at the manner. Look at the manner in which the doors of Allah's mercy are open. Rahmatul lil alameen sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Oh my sahaba. Allah will give you this even if you give the fasting person a droplet of water. Give him a sip of milk. Give him one date also. Allah is looking for some opportunity to, to open the doors of His mercy for you in this month. Another riwayat. Hada Ramadan qad ja'a. Hada Ramadan qad ja'a. Tuftahu fi abwaabul jannah. Tughlaqu fi abwaabul nar. Wa tughallu fihi shayateen. Bu'adan liman adraka Ramadan falam yughfar lahu. Ida lam yughfar lahu fama. One sahaba say, my Nabi became excited. He became excited, Ramadan came. He said, Hada Ramadan. Oh my Ummad, Ramadan has come. Jannat is flung open. Jahannam is locked up. Shayateen are locked up. He said, may that person be distanced from the mercy of Allah who finds Ramadan, finds Ramadan. He's standing in front of the ocean and can't drink the water. Standing in front of the ocean and doesn't get, doesn't quench his thirst. He's standing in front of the well. The water is in front of him. He said, may he be distant from the mercy of Allah who finds this month and fails to gain the mercy, fails to gain the forgiveness of Allah. إِذَا لَمْ يُخْفَرْ لَهُ فَمَتَى He says, if in Ramadan Allah will not forgive you, then when is Allah going to forgive you? The riwayat 
of Ubada bin Samit radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Ramadan come. My Nabi Salaam becomes excited. Atakum Ramadan. Shahru Baraka. Yakshakum Allahu fi. Fayunzilu Rahma. Wa yahuttul khataya. Wa yastajibu fihi dua. Yanduru Allahu ta'ala. Ila tanafusikum fi. Fayubahi bikum malaikata. Faru Allahu ta'ala. Min anfusikum fihi khayra. Fayinna shakiya. Man hurima fihi rahmatallahi azza wa jal. Ubada bin Samit radiallahu ta'ala anhu says. Ramadan came. What was the reaction of the master? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He got up in excitement. He said, Atakum Ramadan. Ramadan has come. Shahru Baraka. The month of Baraka. Yakshakum Allahu fi. Barakat is raining down. Raining down from Allah upon you. Yanzilur Rahma. Allah's mercy is raining down. Torrential downpour of Allah's mercy. Allah's maghfira. Allah's forgiveness. Yahuttu fihi al khataya. Allah wipes away your sins in this month. Yastajibu fihi al dua. Allah is calling out to you. Make dua to me. Turn to me. The doors of Allah open. Allah accepts your duas in this month. So what must you do? Fa'arullah ta'ala. Fa'arullah ta'ala. Fi anfusikum. Fihi khaira. So show Allah in this month. Don't be ungrateful. Namakaram mat banjao. Don't be ungrateful. Don't fail to utilize this opportunity. 11 months of the year, do your way party. 11 months of the year, earn your livelihood. 11 months of the year, if you want, chase after the dunya. Do whatever you want to do. But do not treat this month lightly. One hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Fattaku shahra Ramadan. He said, fear this month if you will not value it. Fear this month if you will not value it. Don't try to become too independent. Don't turn your back on Allah's mercy on this month. Don't waste this opportunity. Whether you live to see another Ramadan, you don't know. None of us knows that. None of us knows that. That qabr is already calling out. Akhirat is calling out. The signs are there. It's written on the wall in front of us. We can see the condition in the world. We can see the halat, the tests that are coming. This is the preparation. This is the opportunity. This is the chance. Whether we will see another chance like this, we don't even know. Once Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is standing in front of Sahaba. Mada yastakbilukum? Wamada tastakbilun? Mada yastakbilukum? Wamada tastakbilun? Mada yastakbilukum? Wamada tastakbilun? This, to translate this, to make us understand is difficult, but in other words, try and mentally picture this. Masjid and Nabawi. Sahaba hanging on to every word of the Nabi of Allah. He is on the mimbar and suddenly he announces, Mada yastakbilukum? Wa It's coming! It's coming. In other words, something momentous, something gigantic, something mind-boggling, something, something otherworldly is about to happen. Sahaba is shocked. Not mentioned in the riwayat, but Zubane Hal Ketorba, looking around. What? There's nothing there. Why has the Nabi of Allah reacted like this? What has happened? Umar, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, his zat, his personality, his connection with the Nabi of Allah. He had that type of taluk, so he stands up. Awahyun nazal? Ya Rasulullah, has some wahi come? Has some revelation come? Qala la, he said no. Aduun hadar? Ya Rasulullah, is there an impending attack of an enemy? Is an army of the enemies marching on Medina? Allah has re- 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 informed you through wahi. Must we prepare? Is jihad about to take place? Do we have to defend ourselves? Aduun hadar? Qala la. Nabi Sallallahu says, no. Then Umar says, Ya Rasulullah, then what has happened? What is about to occur? Allahu Akbar. My Nabi Sallallahu says, Ramadan has come. Ramadan has come. Ramadan has come. And then, to qualify this, to quantify this, Inna Allah ghafara li kulli ahli hadhi al-qibla fi awwali laylatin minha. Oh, kama qala al-Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Pointing to his ummah, he says, on the first night of this month, Allah makes the maghfirat of the entire ummah. 
We can't even imagine what an opportunity Allah has given us. Ali radiallahu ta'ala says, Lo arad Allah and you adhiba ummata Muhammad, ma atahum Ramadan. If Allah wanted to punish the ummata Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah would not have given them Ramadan. The verse of the Quran, which I recited in the beginning, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, only 89 times. Only 89 times, more than 6,000 verses in the Qur'an. We cannot lament sufficiently the lack of munasabat and link and attachment of this ummah with the Qur'an. Such a Qur'an this ummah was given. And in Qur'an, how many places Allah addresses, Ya ayyuhalladheena kafaru, people of kufr. Ya ahl al-kitab. The people of the book, Ya you alladheena hadu, the Jews, Ya you nas O humanity. Only 89 places we find this distinction. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. The, the similitude of this is like, if I to call someone next to me on the member and whisper in his ears directly, everyone will be aware that this is some specific some special address. So not ya ahl al-kitab, not ya ayyuhal ladheena hadu, not ya ayyuhal nas, not ya ayyuhal insan, not ya ayyuhal ladheena kafaru, ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, direct address to the people of Iman, this distinction, only 89 times in the Quran, one appeal we are making, my respected brothers, in this month of Ramadan, if at least that much, that much link create with the Qur'an that these 89 verses where many things are repeated. Many things are repeated. It's not like 89 injunctions. In a lot of places Allah repeats the injunction. Ya ladina amanu attaqullah haqqa tuqati. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu attaqullah wal tandur. Ittaqullah, ittaqullah. Few places. Not 89 separate. Some things are repeated. At least create. We've got time for the TV. We've got time for internet. We've got time for all types of haram. For Allah's sake, for Allah's sake, for Allah's sake. If that imani taqat and strength is not there before Ramadan, utilize this opportunity to cleanse us of this filth. Cleanse us of this filth of photography, of TV, of internet, of that fuhash, of that shamelessness that has polluted our homes, polluted our lives. So that not our nikahs and not our businesses and not any aspect of our life is free of this filth. At least in Ramadan for Allah's sake. At least in Ramadan for Allah's sake. I am saying for Allah's sake on this member. At least in Ramadan for Allah's sake, give it up. Give it up with this intention that Allah give me, give you the strength for the next 11 months to stay away from that filth. Ramadan is there for this reason. So fasting is zakat. Zakat of the body, zakat of the soul. Zakat means cleansing. It's a purification. It's a cleansing process. So let us utilize this opportunity. Let us utilize this opportunity. I'm repeating myself. Let us utilize this opportunity. Create the link with the Quran. Give up those other activities. Find the time. That 89 places at least, if not the rest of the Quran, we're feeling it too much. At least 89 places where Allah is addressing you and I directly. Take the trouble of finding out what is my Allah saying to me. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. Coming back to this verse. Kutiba alaykum siyam Fasting has been prescribed upon you. Like I said, time is very limited. We already ran out of time. Allah uses the word siyam in this verse. We find in the Quran, when reference comes to fasting, one place Allah uses the word som. Maryam alayha salam. Inni nadhartu lirrahmani soma. Falan ukallim al yawma in siya. There the word som is used. Here, where the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is commanded with fasting, Allah says, Kutiba alaykum siyam. Fasting, this word siyam is plural and it is a noun also. What is the difference? Mufassireen draw a very, very interesting, distinct parallel 
example, they say soam is to close up this mouth, stay away from food and drink and speed. That's why Maryam alayhi salam said, Inni nadartu li rahmani soma. When Allah commands the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa kutiba alaykum siyam. What's the difference? They say siyam is when the eyes fast. The eyes fast from looking at the daughters of others. The eyes fast from looking at that shaitan box. That eyes fast from, behi, from the gaze of behayai and shamelessness. The ears fast from listening to music, listening to ghibat, listening to backbiting, listening to Allah's disobedience, the tongue fast from lies, from cheating, from deception, from backbiting, from running down others, from hurting the feelings of others, from speech that causes taklif and pain to others, from lies, from deception, the hands fast from oppression, from hurting someone, from in any way inflicting harm upon another human being, the feet fast from walking towards the dens of haram, the places of haram, the heart fast, the stomach fast. Siyam, Siyam is when the head to toe fast. What is the prize? At the end of the verse, Allah gives the prize, the goal. Quran is haq. Quran is haq. وَمَنْ أَسْتَقُ مِنَ اللَّهِ قِيلًا وَمَنْ أَسْتَقُ مِنَ اللَّهِ حَدِيثًا تَمَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ الصِّدْقًا وَعَدَلًا لَا مُبَدِلَ لِكَلِمَاتِهِ لَا تَبْدِيلَ لِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ Quran is haq. Allah says fast like Allah and His Rasul Salaam want you to fast where you fast from head to toe and what will Allah give you? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ The prize, the goal, the johar, the jewel Allah will make you muttaqi. You will get taqwa. You will get taqwa. And what is taqwa? وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ يُسْرًا وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يُكَفِّرْ عَنْهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِ وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهُ What what? What what promises Allah gives you? إِنَّ أَوْلِيَا اللَّهِ لَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَكَانُوا يَتَّقُونَ Allah says, become muttaqi. You will become the friend of Allah. Become muttaqi. Your akhirat is guaranteed. Become muttaqi. Allah says, يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجَا We will remove, we will take, we remove every difficulty. You're suffering from depression, become muttaqi. You're suffering from mental worries, you become muttaqi. You're suffering from worldly problems, become muttaqi. Allah will become your friend. يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجَا Allah will remove every difficulty. Allah will send your risk and sustenance from where you couldn't imagine. Well, how do you become muttaqi? Siyam, siyam, fast. But don't just fast away from food and drink. Fast from head to toe. Fast from fast from head to toe. Kutiba alaykum siyam. Kama kutiba ala ladina min qablikum. Laallakum tattakun. Allah says fasting has been prescribed upon you as it was upon the previous nations. But through the tufel of our Habib sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the fasting was lightened for the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Why? The other ummahs didn't have sehri. The other ummahs didn't have sehri. Allahu Akbar. Allah Ma'ayni rahimahullah has mentioned riwayat from more than more than 20 sahaba about the barakat and blessings of sehri. Rasulullah sallallahu himself, himself, he would invite sahaba for sehri with these words, come, partake of the food of barakah. Tasakharu, fa'inna fi suhuri baraka. He said, "Make sehri, make sehri, make sehri," because Allah has kept barakat in sehri. Allah's malaika, Allah Himself, Allah's rahmat descends. Malaika make dua for the person who partakes of sehri. Time is limited. Iftar, Allahu Akbar. Wa tara al malaika tahafin min hawl al arsh yusabbihun bi hamd Rabbihim. Allah says, around the arsh of Allah, the malaika, their numbers, وَمَا يَعْلَمُ جُنُودَ رَبِّكَ إِلَّهُ We can't even imagine the numbers. They are making tawaf of Allah's arsh. What are they doing? They don't eat, they don't drink, they don't sleep. 
They have no other occupation. What are they doing? Yusabbihuna bihamdi rabbihim. They are making tasbih of Allah. They are pleasing Allah. They are glorifying Allah. Allah commands His malaika. 11 months of the year you do that. In the month of Ramadan, stop your tasbih. And what must you do? Say ameen to the dua of the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the time of iftar. And what is the ummah doing at the time of iftar? Someone is worried about whether he's got enough samosas or bajjas. Someone has piled up his plate. Worried about everything else. Time when Allah has commanded his malaika. Time when hadith tells us, Da'watum mustajaba. Dua unla yurad. Your dua is not turned away. These are opportunities, opportunities, opportunities. At the time of iftar, make dua, turn to Allah. Those duas will be accepted. This month is given for us to solve all our difficulties, all our problems, dunya and akhirat, throughout the entire year. Such an opportunity, such an opportunity, do not waste it. Farad Allahu lakum siyamahu. Farad Allahu lakum siyamahu. Allah has made farz upon you the fasting of the day of Ramadan. Wasanantu lakum qiyamahu. And my Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahu Akbar. He says, I have made sunnat for you the taraweeh salah of Ramadan. First night we'll see the masjid will be full. Second night, mashallah, to a certain extent. Then once the third, fourth, fifth night comes in, what happens? The crowd starts lessening, then lessening, then lessening, and then, mashallah, we'll see you on the 27th night. Let it not be like that, my respected brothers. One chance a year we get to connect ourselves with the Qur'an. This month of Ramadan, Allah says, Shahru Ramadan, Shahru Ramadan, Shahru Ramadan, the month of Ramadan. What it should have been? Alladhi fihi siyam. That is what it should have been, according to your and my understanding. The month of Ramadan in which we want you to fast, but Allah doesn't say that. That's already mentioned. In this verse Allah says, Shahru Ramadan, Alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. How does Allah introduce this month? The month of Ramadan in which we reveal the Qur'an, telling you and I, this is the month of the Qur'an. This is the month to bring this Qur'an in our lives. This is the month for Allah's sake, if our youth both ears are clogged with that haram music, throw it away. Attach yourself to the Qur'an. If not the rest of the day, at least in Taraweeh would shock. I always mention this, I mentioned it again a few years ago, we were in one part in South Africa, one town, rushing. Outside the masjid they had a sign, signpost, one arrow pointing one direction, parking for eight rakats Taraweeh. Other di- arrow pointing, parking for 20 rakats tarawi. We've reduced this thing. Looking for shortcuts. I'm not going into the fiqhi masla. Riwayat of Allama Munziri na targhib wa tarheeb. For each sajda, for each sajda, for each sajda of tarawi salah, Allah will give you 1500 hasanat. 20 rakats. 40 sajda, 60,000 hasanat every night. Every night. If our Imam Sahib Hilal Masjid made one announcement that listen, tomorrow whoever comes for tarawih salah, whoever comes for salah, underneath the musallah there will be 1,500 rands, what will happen? Allah's qasam, this parking also won't be sufficient. That, that park opposite to will be full. Why 1,500 rand? We know the value of mal. We don't know the value of Amal. 1500 hasana for every sajda. And for every sajda, Allah will give you one palace in Jannah made out of red ruby. What is the size of this palace? According to the riwayat, 60,000 doors made out of gold for every sajda. And for every sajda of the month of Ramadan in Tarawi, outside Tarawi, Allah will give you one tree in Jannah. A fast horse rider will ride for 500 years and he will not cross the shadow of that tree. This is not the month of laziness. This is not the month to turn our back on these opportunities. With shock, with inclination, listen to the Quran. Don't put pressure on the hufas to finish as quickly as possible. Because we are rushing where? Then you'll notice the garages and the places of time wasting will be very full afterwards. 
Take opportunity, link and attach yourself with amal, with the Quran, with the masjid in this month. And what is the actual goal? The epitome, the goal, if at least spend some time in the path of Allah in Ramadan. It is very difficult to fulfill the haq of this month when we are at home. In the home, we're going to become a musibat and our masturat also. Give them some chance also to make ibadat. Go out in the path of Allah. One hadith on this I will terminate. Man sama yawman fi sabilillah fi ghayri Ramadan. My Nabi Salaam told us the reward of a man who is fasting in the path of Allah but not in Ramadan. Not in Ramadan. He said fi ghayri Ramadan. Outside Ramadan if you are fasting in the path of Allah. Bu'idani nar miyat amin sayr al mudammar al jawad. He said Allah will distance you from Jahannam. The distance a fast horse rider rides for 100 years. That distance Allah will distance you from Jahannam for fasting in the path of Allah outside Ramadan. Fi ghayri Ramadan. What Allah will give you in Ramadan? Sahaba got badr in Ramadan. Sahaba got conquest of Makkah in Ramadan. They set the pattern for us. What Allah will give you in Ramadan, the fact of the matter, لا يعلم ثواب عامله إلا الله. Only Allah knows the reward. We can't even imagine, not even mention, such a great reward Allah will give you. So take this opportunity, if not the whole month, at least ashara, at least 10 days of this month, spend it in the path of Allah. Give the masturat a chance to make ibadat also. And give yourself a chance, give yourself a chance to maximize the potential of this month. Wepari, the other 11 months are there for it. This month is not the month of Wepari. This month is the month of Akhirat. This month is the month of forgiveness. This month is the month of A'mal. This month is the month of Dua. Allah give us tawfiq wa akhirat.